The American chestnut once was a very important tree in the eastern forest. It was important for wildlife. Chestnut also had very valuable wood qualities. During the early days when the railroads first started being built, it was used for railroad ties because it was so rot resistant. So all that was lost and it was lost due to a pathogen that was introduced from Asia into the United States about a century ago. Within about 50 years, killed somewhere between three and four billion of these great trees in our forests. So what we have done is to actually start a program where we engineer a single gene or maybe just a couple genes into chestnut. So I'll take us to the juicy bag I've been eyeing. Those are some big boys. <laughs> we collect these vials of transgenic chestnut pollen. So we're going to take this slide, coat it in that transgenic pollen, and we're going to use it to pollinate these flowers on a wild-type American chestnut tree. We did make good progress, and we finally did develop a tree that could be what we call blight-tolerant, meaning they could survive in the presence of the fungus. The American chestnut is kind of like this heritage tree, and that's one reason to bring it back. But the other is the environmental. It grows very rapidly, can grow up to an inch in a year, and therefore it is good at carbon sequestration. And therefore it can be another piece of the puzzle of how do we deal with global warming.